Hey everyone, it's Justin again. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing arithmetic and geometric sequences, two common types of sequences that you'll encounter. They only use addition and multiplication. Well, technically subtraction and division too, but we'll talk about that as we go. Let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify arithmetic and geometric sequences and their characteristics. First, we'll define arithmetic sequences and give an example. Next, we'll define geometric sequences and give an example. Finally, we'll discuss their differences. Let's start with the arithmetic sequence. Consider the following sequence. What's the pattern here? You'll notice that we need to add four each time to get the next number. If a sequence has this pattern of adding or subtracting each time, we call this an arithmetic sequence. So since our sequence is adding, it is an arithmetic sequence. We have a special term for this number four also. The number being added is called the common difference, named by the variable d. In this problem, the common difference d is equal to four. Let's do an example. Use the sequence below to answer the following. First, why is it arithmetic? Let's start by looking again at the pattern. How are the numbers changing this time? We're subtracting five this time. So that is why this sequence is arithmetic. Now, what's the common difference? Remember, the common difference is the number being added. But we're not adding, we're subtracting. But also remember, subtraction is really just adding a negative number. So what number are we adding? If we're subtracting 5, then we're adding negative 5. That is our value for the common difference, d. Finally, let's find the next two terms. You can either add the value of d or just keep using the pattern you've already found. Pause the video now and find them yourself. You could keep using the pattern and subtract 5, but let's make sure that you're comfortable with the common difference by adding negative 5 for practice. Negative 9 plus negative 5 is negative 14 and negative 14 plus negative 5 is negative 19. Next, let's talk about the geometric sequence. What's this pattern? Did you find that we need to multiply by negative 2 each time to get the next number? If a sequence has this pattern of multiplying each time, we call it a geometric sequence. If something appears to be division, we can think of it as multiplying by a fraction instead. We'll see this in the next example. So, since our sequence is multiplying, it is a geometric sequence. Just like with arithmetic sequences, we have a special term for this number negative two also. Instead of D for difference, we use R for ratio. The number being multiplied is called the common ratio. In this problem, the common ratio, r, is equal to negative 2. Let's do an example. Use the sequence below to answer the following. First, why is it geometric? What's the pattern this time? If you notice that we're dividing by 3 now, that's right. However, we usually think of geometric sequences as multiplication. So instead of dividing by 3, we'll look at this as a multiplication by 1 third. For this reason, we have a geometric sequence. Now, what's the common ratio? Remember, the common ratio is the number being multiplied. So we get r equals 1 third. Finally, let's find the next two terms of the sequence by continuing to multiply. Pause the video and find them. 2 thirds times 1 third is 2 ninths. And 2 ninths times 1 third is 2 over 27.
Before we ramp up our practice, let's make sure we're clear on the differences between arithmetic and geometric. To identify an arithmetic sequence, you should look for a pattern of addition or subtraction in the sequence. For geometric, you should look for a pattern of multiplication or division. Arithmetic sequences have a common difference that's added at each step, whereas geometric sequences have a common ratio that is multiplied at each step. If an arithmetic sequence has a pattern of subtraction, use a negative value for D. And if a geometric sequence has a pattern of division, use multiplying a fraction for R. For example, dividing by two is the same as multiplying by one half. Let's do one final example. Determine whether the following sequences are arithmetic or geometric. For each example, pause the video and try to identify it. This one is multiplying by four each time. So it's geometric. How about this one? Remember to pause and give it a try. If we try multiplication on this one, they immediately don't match. So what about addition? This looks sort of like addition, but these numbers have to be the same to be an arithmetic sequence. Since we can't find an arithmetic or geometric pattern here, this sequence is neither arithmetic nor geometric. That happens more often than you might think. Try this last one. This one is adding 11 each time, so it is arithmetic. Great work. Now you can use arithmetic and geometric sequences. Remember that arithmetic sequences have a common difference D that is added each time. Geometric sequences have a common ratio R that is multiplied each time. In the next lesson, we'll start looking at forms of sequences in more detail. See you then. Hey!